when we get what we want, when we want it, we feel blessed. When we don't get what we want, when we want it, we feel cheated. Most self-conscious people always have this feeling of being cheated and you will feel these throughout your life. Because of too much self-awareness, I felt cheated beyond imaginable bounds. I felt cheated in little things that did not even matter. I felt cheated of high because I was shot. And being shot meant no respect. Being shot meant that people were going to see you for who you are not. Because most of the time, short people are often disrespected in the society, irrespective of their age or irrespective of their size. People always misjudge them or judge them according to sizes instead of what they can bring forth. I felt cheated of health because my health was not the best when I was growing up and my health is still not the best. I suffered so much because of health. I lost so many privileges because of my health. I was deprived from so much because of my health. I was deprived from eating certain food types or certain food dishes because of my poor health. I was denied from doing regular exercises like normal people because of poor health. I was stuck to wearing particular types of clothes irrespective of the season, irrespective of fashion, irrespective of what people were putting on at that time, irrespective if the weather was hot or the weather was cold. I was tied down to wearing a particular type of dress and this left me feeling cheated because others were doing, others had the liberty of doing this, of doing whatever they want, of putting on the kind of clothes they want. Changing clothes according to weather, but I was tied down to a particular set of clothes because of my poor health. If you have watched up to this extent, please approve this video for me with a like because YouTube loves videos that have more like and I love it when you like my videos. By liking this video, you will help me to reach more people and to show me some love. I felt cheated to be born in the country in which I was born in. A country where life was difficult. A country where talent was not promoted. Where those who made it to higher heights had godfathers in higher position or where either related to bureaucrats. I felt cheated to be smart and not getting the privileges that came with being smart. I felt cheated for being an introvert because being an introvert meant that I was prone to so many physiological disorders. And living in a world that is beautiful extrovert introverts like us are always misinterpreted are always seen as misfit in this world that is more suited for extrovert to me i felt cheated why was i born an introvert instead of an extrovert why was i born with a disadvantage from birth which was i was more prone to psychological disorders than any other person on earth i felt cheated to be born in a middle class family because I couldn't get what I wanted. I couldn't get all my heart desires. I had so many ones that I wanted, but I could only have my needs, the basic needs for survival. I felt cheated because I could not have the kind of women I wanted, the kind of girls I wanted because pretty girls went in for the tall and handsome men who had more cash than I did. I felt cheated of luck because luck was never at my side in the office so I could benefit or gain from the privileges other people had and to gain more promotions like my colleagues did but I never had that. I felt cheated of love because I thought my parents loved my siblings more than they did me. I felt cheated about everything I couldn't have as an individual and I also felt cheated about everything we couldn't have as a family. I blamed everyone for this mischief but myself. I blame God for unfairness, for making me short and making me to miss out on the privileges of torment. I blame God for poor health. I blame God for making me sick from birth and I blame him for unfairness. I blame him for making me sick and making others strong because God to me is not a sick God. I blame my country. I blame my government for lack of meritocracy and poor governance. I blame my mother for my weak muscles. If only she had taken more calcium supplements during her pregnancy, I would have developed large bones and stronger muscles to entice women with. I blame pretty girls for being cruel and unkind to short people. I blame luck for the ill luck I got in my workplace. I blamed everybody and everything that stood on my way 
I blame even the stone on which I hit my leg on and accuse it of jealousy. I became good at the blame game, blaming everyone for my misfortune except myself. I complained a lot and I became miserable and mischievous. If you're watching this video and you're feeling exactly the way I felt, and I want you to understand that three quarters of these things we fear or we feel cheated about will never come to reality. These are all illusions that are created by our subconscious memory to shield us from the harsh realities of the, of the real world and to give us an alibi for us to stay away from our responsibility. You see, the subconscious creates these things to shield us, but in return, this creates an unintentional self-affliction to ourselves, especially to those who are self-conscious. It makes us to feel cheated in the little things that do not even matter. When I came to the realization that there were two things that were causing this feeling, first, it was this false illusion created by my subconscious memory, and second, it was because I was irresponsible. I blamed everybody except for myself. But when I understood this and started blaming myself by taking responsibility of what I did, instead of beating myself, I decided to take responsibility and change the things I did not want. When I did this and I'm asking you to do the same, I became grateful about everything I felt cheated of. I was grateful to be born in the middle class family in which I was born. I was grateful to be raised by the same parents who raised me and the same siblings I had. I was grateful to be born in the country in which I was born and I soon found out that my country was nicknamed Africa in miniature, which means that everything in Africa is in my country. And I was not looking in the right places and I was asking and I was depending on the government to give me what I wanted. So I started asking myself, using the words of this wise American president, Ask not what your country is doing for you, but ask what you are doing for your country. I was grateful to God for making me unique and the smartest one in the room. I was grateful for the ill luck that I got in the office because this was my reward for irresponsibility and not taking action. We are born with unique abilities and features to make us stand out from the crowd. Being short or too tall is okay. Being slim or fat is okay. Being dark in complexion, fair or brown in complexion, it's okay. Having bigger body parts or smaller body parts in relation to their actual sizes, it's okay. Being born in a poor country or in a rich country or in a poor family or in a rich family, it's okay. Remember that these rich families or countries were once poor. You can change your own story instead of feeling cheated all the time. Because of the way we feel or the way we see ourselves, Let's see this as God's own way of making humankind to be as one. The short people will always need tall people and tall people will always need short people. People are constantly wanting to have what others have. And when they don't have, like I said earlier, they feel cheated. And when they have, they feel blessed. See, short people want to grow tall as for the same reason tall people want to grow short. Girls with bigger breasts feel cheated because they have it all and they are constantly looking for ways to get them reduced. While girls with smaller breasts feel cheated and they are undergoing plastic surgery every day to see their breasts enlarged. Dark and brown people want to lighten their color in order to look more attractive while white people wish they were dark in order to prevent sunburns and spend time basking themselves on sunny days in beaches. Poor people want to grow rich while rich people wish they were poor in order to run away from the responsibilities that come with riches. We will constantly be in this paradigm shift always wanting what the other person has. Let us not make this feeling of not getting what we want mean being cheated. You will never appreciate what you have now until that thing is taken away from you. You will never appreciate or see the importance of that father or mother or that sibling you despise so much until the day you miss that sibling. You will remember to see home is home the day you leave your country, that wretched country in which you are from, and find yourself unwillingly eating bamboo shoots in China or eating frogs in Japan or spicy burritos and pair the two in no man's land simply because you want to stay alive. If we stay contented with what we have and who we are, we will feel blessed instead of feeling cheated. I will leave you with this quotation from Dale Carnegie. 
Make a lemonade from the lemons you have. Make yourself happy from the futures you have, from the country in which you find yourself with what you have. Because God made you like that for a purpose. There are only two channels on YouTube with this kind of content. This channel and no other channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you need more videos, subscribe for. If you have any questions you want me to answer or provide more information about it, leave it in the comment section below. See you in the next video. Bye.